places are not very easy to find, but I always make a point of getting a few this time of the year. The Queen's jam is simply the best and I used to make it by buckets. You can't eat raw queens, but when cooked, it has fine, fine flavor. Uh, the queens paste uh, tastes like apple, pear and citrus at the same time, and it's a very solid, slightly grainy jelly, which is very easy to slice or cut into cubes. It's just fabulous with cheese or just with coffee. So a bit of patience and mind your fingers, of course. They are very hard to cut, so take care. I cut uh, my fruit quite haphazardly. I keep though the cores and even the pips. I'm going to cook them separately. Uh, lots of pectin there. And I don't want to waste even a single small piece of this fruit. Uh, I'll cook cores for 30-40 minutes in a small amount of water. Uh, this water will become quite syrupy and I will use it in our paste. I used to do the same when I was doing um, Queen's Jam. Right, so we are done here. A bit more water than just to cover under the lid 30-40 minutes. So now, of course, it's the time to weigh our fruit to judge the amount of sugar. My old trusty Maji mix. So literally a couple of minutes and we processed all our queens to a quite small pieces here. So juice of one lemon, it's not as a big lemon as I would like, right? as I only have one lemon, I better be sure all, every little drop goes in. 700 grams of sugar per kilo of fruit. I expect a lots of juices here after 30 minutes or so, the sugar draws liquid out of the fruit. No need for any extra water here at all. And here what we have 30 minutes later. Plenty, uh, plenty of um, juice here, the sugar drawn it out. Uh, and here is our syrup, um, it's going to the big pan. I'm using a sieve here. Uh, as we have plenty of liquid in the pan, I bring it to the bowl on high heat and then I'm going to cook it under the lid for 20 minutes or so uh, on a medium heat to soften the fruit. And after 20 minutes, once the queen's piece is gone soft, I take the lid off and my aim now is to reduce the amount of water in the pan. So after 20 minutes, uh, no lead anymore, uh, very little attention, quick mix, uh, now and again, make sure it won't catch, uh, low to medium heat. Uh, hour and 10 minutes, I think I'm going to switch off, the paste thickened and gone darker, and towards the end, I had to reduce the heat to low and mix it more often. And now I'm just blending it smooth. Uh, back to the stove again, but for a very short time, 10 minutes or so, uh, keep stirring all the time and we are done. Uh, whatever container you're using, uh, I use a bread tin here, uh, line it with a non-stick paper. So pour your future paste in a container while it's hot because it's going to set uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so once the paste cooled down, I cover it with the cling film and I put it to the fridge overnight so it will set really well and next day it's ready to use and it's absolutely fabulous.